will change uh, who lives and who dies, the ultimate outcome of the story. Like, there's a ton of things that you can choose in the game. Nice. Speaking on choice, the big change is you can choose whether you want to be, uh, I might say the names wrong, Alexios, is that right? Yep, Alexios. And Cassandra. Cassandra, that's right. Um, I had a pleasure of playing both of them last night, and let me tell you, the personalities are, are very clear cut, so you're not just getting uh, a redialogue or anything like that. They, they actually have personality. What was the thought behind giving players a choice now when in the other ones it was just one character? Yeah, so Ubisoft Quebec, we made uh, the last Assassin's Creed we made was Syndicate, where you had a choice of Evie and Jacob. Mm -hmm. You could jump between them, but you were forced to play certain missions with right. one. So when we started work on Odyssey three years ago, it was, okay, we need to, from the beginning, give the player their choice of their character. Let them personify that. Let them uh, become that character. And then they get to change how that character moves throughout mm. the story. Because you're making those role play choices, it's not just this uh, one character that we give you, it's, it's the character that you get to own and go on your Odyssey, which was sort of a, a core saying for us, was make this your Odyssey. Absolutely. I know one thing you touched on even like later on in the break room was the, how much naval influence there is in the game because yes. how big the world is. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so naval with uh, being in Odyssey, being in Greece, when we got to visit Greece, you could tell that uh, ships were super important mm -hmm. even now. So 2,500 years ago, they were vital to the way that people lived. Uh, we wanted to bring back that seam seamless open world naval as seen in Black Flag, so we were influenced by that. Uh, the way they uh, set up the controls, the way the, the combat feels is very uh, related to that. And then it's focused on you know, arrows, javelins, ramming, smashing ships in half, uh, boarding them. You get your crew, so you build your own uh, crew of lieutenants from people in the world. You recruit them either through quests or through uh, knocking them out and convincing them to join you. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to talk about that. <laughs> oh, no, it's I want to get on that too. I, I love it. It's, it's great to build your own crew. It really feels like the ship is your home and the crew yeah. is your family. Yeah, one thing I noticed, uh, the first thing I did, like I do in any demo, is I press pause and zoom out on the map. The map is huge. Like, uh, is it bigger than Origins? I think internal, in terms of total size, yes. Size, yeah, because yes, the there's a lot ever. of water and this seamless, which I love because now we get to take the ship out and we get to do a little bit more stuff. And the funny thing you said, my favorite thing to do in this game is kick people. It's just, one of the first, <laughs> yes, yeah. just what? Spartan kick them. Yep. And it's, it's amazing. They have their shield up, you can kick them. You knock him out, and like you said, because last night I was like, well, he's knocked out. So that mechanic is in a game where you can recruit people. Yeah, you can. Wow. So the goal was make kick you make choices. Them. Yeah, well, kicking, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sparta kick was uh, the number one ability. First thing we put in the game. We knew from, you know, the, yes. the 300 from the movie, like everyone yeah, thinks of that. It's a meme, like everybody knows of that. So we put that in, and it it's still now one of the most popular abilities and still something we want to talk about. Is there about. a like, skill tree for that? Like, can you get like a stronger Sparta kick? Does absolutely. It go yes. Are you serious? Yes. I was just mess absolutely. messing around. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I did, <laughs> it's, it's, so it's, it's amazing. Up. There's a dozen, uh, more than an, uh, a couple dozen abilities. Each of them are upgradable. They get more and more powerful, and it's all through this uh, artifact you have. So it's mm -hmm. a Spear of Leonidas, mm -hmm. who's your ancestor. Right. And it, it uh, builds upon the lore of Assassin's Creed with the first civilization and the DNA and the artifacts and the connection to that. So it's got a very strong connection to that, and you get to really uh, take that to the next level in your in your combat. Speaking of which, um, in all, all the other Assassin's Creeds, we notice we jump between two stories: is, uh, the past and the present. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen any of that in the demos. Is yeah, it? there is. There is the present okay. day. We carry forward with Layla, who was uh, okay, in uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. We carry her story forward as she's searching for more artifacts. Really? So there's a connection okay. there, and uh, and we move that forward. I'm actually really happy about that because I was like, what about what happened? You know, I was still had big questions at the end of the yeah, game. Yeah. Now it's all fun and games for things like you know kicking people and all that stuff and recruiting them. But like, I'm a big fan of education in games. And there might be some some resident sleepers and some borings, but just give me a second, okay? okay? I like going back to the previous games and seeing all the things you can learn in locations like that. How much of that is in this game, and how do you go about learning more about what you're experiencing in the game? Yeah, so. Obviously with the Assassin's Creed, that is key to what we do, is we want to make history your playground, so we need to understand history as the development team. So we traveled to Greece, we hired a historian who was a uh, master, had a master's in Greek history. Uh, we study it, read about it, like there's a lot of stuff read, uh, uh, written but about the dude was so ancient happy. Greece. So learning about uh, Socrates, Hippocrates, these characters that you know are still talked about now, the Hippocratic Oath was created in this time period. That, 
There's a lot of things that are core to uh, our society now that were created in this time period. So we really want to transport you back to that. And you get to have those dialogues with Socrates for the first time. So it's not just a passive thing where you're just watching a cutscene. You're questioning him and learning about uh, his mindset and how he approached the That's world, cool. which changed the thought of, uh, of the modern era. Speaking on Greek, I mean, yeah, you can't have a Greek without the mythology. How much we're going to be able to see in, I saw a little glimpse of maybe a Medusa, a Minotaur. Yes, uh, okay. mythology, the Greek legends, all that is, they believe that the gods were real, so we need to portray it a, a, in a similar way. Uh, and there's a great connection that we make between the legends and with the first civilization and the lore of Assassin's Creed, so they're all tied together uh, uh -huh. really well. But nothing that wanna, that we're going to show just yet. Understandable. And uh, <laughs> with gear like we're hearing, yeah. or we're seeing here on the video, is uh, you've got five different sets of uh, pieces of gear you can put on your body. You can change them uh, from stealth or fight, or uh, you can put special perks on them. So you can really make the gear your own, uh, and you'll find legendary legendary gear with different rarities and all that stuff. So there's a lot of great to, uh, gear to get in the game to make it a really full RPG. I okay. imagine the more that you explore in the world, the better your odds are of finding legendary gear. Yeah, there's right? legendary gear all over the place, and then there's uh, certain characters that you're going to hunt down as well. Uh, there's mercenaries that sort of enforce the law of the world, and if you do bad things, killing people, stealing things, kicking them, uh, kicking them off cliffs, things yeah, like that's that. that's Best. <laughs> they're gonna come after you, and uh, and they're gonna have some of the best gear in the game. So it's it's really an interactive thing where you're gonna want to hunt them in order to get that best stuff. So are you introducing any new modes? Um, let's say, well, played a mode. I don't know if it's called conquest or the conquest battle. So yes. yeah, the overall structure of the game uh, is that. Each world, each uh, state is broken up into its own. It has leaders, but they're allied with Sparta or Athens. Okay. Uh, as the player, you can go in and, uh, and defeat them, basically lower their, uh, their power so that they're weak, and then someone else will invade them. Mm -hmm. And you can either then choose to defend them or uh, fight for the invading army in these huge 150-person versus 150-person yes. battles. Like They're, they're massive, yeah. awesome battles. Uh, you get great gear out of these as well, and they're the ultimate challenge for your combat abilities. Is there like a difficulty selector? Like, did stuff from like just normal? Can I go to extreme or a hard version? Yeah, you can way? go. You can go to a much harder area in the world because it's a full progression of uh, 50 levels. So if you go to a place that's harder than your level, you're going to be extra challenged. You can also choose to. The defending army is going to be a little easier and. Uh, uh, you're gonna get better rewards for doing one or the other, so there's a lot of choices you can make. But it's still winnable, though. You're oh, really, yeah. really, really good. If you're very good, yes. See, that's, that's the stuff that I. There's want, soft man. gates, is what we call them, where it's you're challenged, but you can get through it. And we, the hour-long we, battles where you just yes. marathon around and kite. That's <laughs> me, dude. Yes. I'm all about that. Now, one thing I noticed about this mode is um, there is an objective, um, as you see at the top, the UI, the different sides of winning. Yes. Um, I'm a guy that likes to sit there and fight things too much. I found out it's not the way you should do it. <laughs> you should follow the objectives and do that. Uh, and another, another thing I noticed is the ship battles are a lot more challenging this time around. Yeah, I mean, there's progression in the ship as well. Mm -hmm. So as you gain levels, the ship gains levels. So it's going to be a continuous challenge throughout the game. Uh, you have upgrades for your ship mm -hmm. uh, that will make it stronger. You can shoot uh, fire attacks as well. Uh, and then you'll be able to recruit those lieutenants to make your ship better as well. They'll have bonuses and perks for uh, regular combat as well as boarding, where they'll you'll get even better rewards if you go with the boarding. So it's it's all about uh, letting the player challenge. Obviously, we have uh, difficulty levels that you mm. can select in the game. So there's easy, normal, and hard, and then one beyond that if you really want to challenge yourself. Okay. So it's all all about giving the player choice. I feel like one of the unfair knocks you hear in Assassin's Creed oftentimes is. It's a reskin version of another game, or if you played one, you played them all. So if you were gonna, despite everything new we discussed right now, if you were gonna drive home one thing that says, look, this is the differentiator, what would you say it is? I think our biggest thing is the way we've approached narrative and telling stories. We wanna tell stories in a different way. Let the player be an agent in that story mm -hmm. and someone that changes the outcome of what happens. Uh, you're not just passively going through the story that we've told you. Yeah. Uh, that's through the main stories, and it's also through all of the other content in the games, all the side stories as well. So what we're showing at E3 here this year is uh, basically five hours, and it's a side story. It's, it's oh. a very extensive amount of content with romance, with uh, options of how it uh, comes out. Uh -oh. At the end, you can see, like, when you get to the end, you can have vastly different outcomes uh, based on what you've chosen to do during that time. And that's just a microcosm of the whole game. 
Uh, player choice is definitely important in these games nowadays because we want to be a little bit more involved. I was very much attached to the characters in the previous Assassin's Creed um, Origins. Um, and what I noticed about this one, the different main characters, like I said, the personality was so huge. Um, it not only made me want to make a choice for myself, but make a choice for them based off their personality. What went into the uh, production of trying to get whoever voiced it to be so good? Like, Cassandra's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Um, just the way she smirks and looks and stuff like that. Did you guys really go? Hi, I'm Scott Phillips, game director on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Today, I'm excited to give you a sneak peek at three years of hard work from the Ubisoft Quebec team and our transformation into a full-blown RPG with choice at the center of everything. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you will play a mercenary who embarks on an epic odyssey to reunite their family and confront the ones who tore it apart. Your ship, the Adrestia, will be your home base and its crew like family as you seek adventure sailing the Aegean seas and exploring the lands of 5th century BC, ancient Greece. And for the first time ever, you will choose to play as either a male or female hero, Alexios or Cassandra. Both heroes will share the same story and gameplay possibilities. Today, we're going to play as Cassandra as she arrives at the beautiful Greek island of Mykonos. Mykonos represents just one of eight different biomes of ancient Greece, each with their own style, stories, and adventures to discover. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, choice is key, and it's why we've introduced interactive dialogues. Ah, Mykonos Island, built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heraclis. Read me the note again. Eagle-bearing Mystios. That's you. We are a small but fierce group of rebels would pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our Athenian oppressors. A warrior named Diocles fights with them. None who face him survive. Please, Mystios, our people are dying. Signed, Kira. What did your informant tell you? Dialogues like these allow the player to role-play and impact the characters, world, and ultimately the outcomes of their adventures. There's also word of Spartans landing on Mykonos. So, I'm here to find Kira, who wants me to kill Diocles. An Athenian ally. Who's at war with Sparta. And don't forget the bounty! Business as usual, then. <laughs> Gods protect you, Cassandra. Thanks, Varnavas. But they'll be too busy protecting Diocles from me. We've just been spotted by a mercenary hunting the bounty on Cassandra's head. Mercenaries are powerful enemies hired to hunt you down. Odyssey takes place during the Peloponnesian War, a time when the two powerhouses of Sparta and Athens are fighting for control of all Greece. Spartans and Athenians both use mercenaries to do their dirty work, but they also have armies of their own, as long as they remain strong. Can't be We've crossed paths with another mercenary hunting Cassandra. I'll be rich. By killing mercenaries such as Malios, you can ultimately become the most famous and fearsome mercenary of ancient Greece. Just one of the many side stories of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You want my head? Come and take it. Combat in Assassin's Creed Odyssey is focused on offense and quick movement. Instead of blocking, you will be parrying and dodging attacks to create openings to use your special abilities. These special abilities are devastating thanks to the first civilization artifact that Cassandra wields, the Broken Spear of Leonidas. <laughs> Creating a full-blown RPG was our goal from day one. Weapon, gear, and ability choice are key parts of that. Your gear is divided in five parts. Each item comes with its own stats and rarity, as well as perks that can be tailored to your playstyle. When leveling up, dozens of special abilities, each with multiple upgrades, become available. Once you've purchased a new ability, you choose where it's mapped on the controller, creating your own loadout. Choice in abilities, choice in weapons, and choice in gear will allow every player to have their own unique loadout and playstyle. 
Assassin's Creed Odyssey will constantly entice players with adventure across hundreds of quests, locations, as well as dynamic events. Varnavas was right. Spartans have made themselves right at home. And in those adventures, for the first time ever, you will be able to lie, betray, or roleplay the hero. It's all up to you and how you choose to play. I'm looking for Kira. What do you want with her? Ha! <laughs> the mercenary who bears the Eagle of Zeus. You got my message. It said something about paying me handsomely. Ha! <laughs> Mercenaries. Athenians have enslaved our people for too long. Help us free Mykonos from their grasp. And you'll have more Rahmi than you can carry. I'm here to kill the Ocles, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to you and Sparta. My men are ferocious in a ground assault, but we're outnumbered. And the Ocles fights with the fury of Ares. Join us in battle! If you're half the warrior Kira says you are, we'll grind these Athenians into dust! All right, Spartan. I'll fight with you. But the Ocles is mine. To battle, then! Cassandra has agreed to help the rebels in a conquest battle. These conquest battles pit hundreds of soldiers against each other and can take place with or without the player's help when a nation becomes weak. The outcome of these battles, as well as your choices in the game, will have dramatic impacts and shape the future of Greece. We found the Athenian hero, Diocles. Combat in Odyssey is fueled by adrenaline. Adrenaline is earned by dodging, parrying, and landing hits on enemies. When the player has enough adrenaline, it can be unleashed in devastating special ability attacks, like Sparta Kick. But your enemies have abilities of their own and will challenge you like never before. Your life ends today! With Diocles dead, Mykonos Island will now be controlled by the Spartans. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek at the epic adventure of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, coming October 5th. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, available October 5th. Get early access with Golden Ultimate Editions.